Conceive, believe, achieve. Shut the f up. What do we have, my friend? All right. Uh, let's start off with probably the juiciest quote I've read. Uh, I've read all week. Um, Dana White says that no one wants a piece of Hamzat. Uh, here's the quote. Yes, 100%. Nobody wants to fight this guy. Everybody wants to go on social media and say this or say that. But when it comes, well, when it really comes down to it, nobody's trying to fight Hamzat Chimaev. I don't blame them. But at the end of the day, when you're a professional fighter, this is what you do. You look at a guy with as much hype and as much bravado as Chimaev as a huge opportunity. Mm, no, it's interesting. Uh, have you been keeping up with this guy, Tom? Are you aware of uh, Hamzat Chimaev and um, all his fun and games lately, what he's having on social media, calling everybody out from GSP to Daniel Cormier and other people? Yeah, of course. I mean, you can't really avoid him at this point. He's pretty. He's everywhere. He is everywhere. Um, yeah, I mean, he's a scary guy from what I've seen. He actually made his debut, I believe, on the same card as me. Or I was on the same card as, as him in uh, in Abu Dhabi, and even then I actually seen him in the back, and he was wa he was warming up with uh, Gustafsson. He was doing some wrestling with Gustafsson. Obviously, Gustafsson is a much bigger guy physically than uh, Jim I have, and the guy was just launching him all over the place. I know, obviously, they were only warming up, but uh, oh, they, may they might have been doing a workout. Even he might have been. Uh, during the week, but he was launching Gustafsson all over the place, picking him above his head, turning him, fireman's carries and all that kind of stuff. And I just thought, wow, who's this guy? And then obviously yeah. since then we've le we've learned a lot more. And yeah, I'm not surprised people are scared of him, to be fair. He's, he's a scary yeah. man. No, that's interesting that you say that about Gustafsson because that's always the rumour that does the rounds. You know what I mean? That apparently he dominates Gustafsson. And as you say, it, they're warming up. He's got a fight. Gustafsson's being a training partner for him. But even still, if he can even compete with Gustafsson at welterweight, it's pretty incredible. He was talking, he was going back and forth with Colby Covington this week and Colby was like, listen, if, uh, if you want to rush this guy, and, I, and send him to the hospital, be my guest, and then fucking Kamzat sent, he was basically sending death threats. I don't know if you saw that. He's basically saying, yes, okay, I'll send you. And then he had like emojis of coffins and shit like that. I mean, I love it. I love it. I mean, I, I, I don't know if I'm getting ahead of myself, but I, I, I can see, I can see a world where he's champion one day pretty soon. When I say pretty soon, I mean like a year, 18 months or something like that. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you see a lot of these guys who are coming up at the moment and it's still a big question whether they're actually a hype train or not. I, I'm always, me, with, with myself personally, I'm always trying to make myself like a anti-hype train. I don't want to be a hype train. I want to be a... But how do you stop that? Guy. How do you stop yourself being a hype train? Because if everyone's fucking it's, jumping on board, they're jumping it's tough. on board. It is, it, is, it is tough, but you know, I don't want to be that hype train guy that gets derailed. I don't want to be that guy. I want to... But what I'm saying is... <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. See, but on, what would on. you rather be? A guy... Uh, that's walking up to the train station, trying to get on the hype train, right? Or, 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 or no, no, trying to become a train of some sort, and you're not even on the tracks, and then you don't even get fucking derailed. Or would you rather be a hype train that gets derailed? Because you never know. Obviously, at some point, I hate to break it to you, at some point, there might come a loss. Maybe there won't. Maybe you go through the UFC like Khabib, fucking wipe the floor with everyone. But losses may happen. You'd rather have a bit of support along the way, no? Of course. No, I do agree with that, Mike. What I'm saying is I don't want to be one of the... My my fear is to be um, like a flash-in-the-pan type guy. A lot of UK guys are flashes in the pan, and that's just... That's not me slagging off UK MMA at all, but that's just no. uh, that's just the truth. You know what I mean? There's a, there's a lot of guys who make it to the UFC. They come in with loads of hype behind them, and they're out faster than they're even in. So uh, I I would like to be bit more of a steady burner i don't want to have no fans and i don't want to be like that i want to you know build it up slowly and and get there when i deserve it not just because i'm a hype train that's the way i look at it anyway yeah no 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 you're here for the long haul that's what i've always said you know what i mean a lot of people they want to make it to the ufc because of course it is the it's the big show it's where you make the most money it's where the most eyeballs are etc etc but then when they get here they kind of think oh shit we've done it we've made it this is where the hard work fucking starts you know what i'm saying and if you want to have a long career that's got to translate to success in later life then of course you got to fucking be the opposite of a flash in the pan what would be the opposite of a flash in the pan a fucking 
I don't know, something in the saucepan. I don't fucking know, but I get what you're trying to say. Uh, but Hamza, yeah, no, no, he's uh, he's doing incredible things. And if I'll be honest, if I was in the welterweight division, I'd be trying to sidestep that motherfucker. I wouldn't be trying to call him out. I'd be like, fuck that. Uh, but still, anyway. All right, let's hear from one of our sponsors, IP Vanish. We are welcoming them back to today's show. IP Vanish have been a long-time sponsor of ours, so it's great to have them back. So let me tell you about IP Vanish. If you care about the security of your online activity, the easiest way to protect yourself is with IP Vanish VPN, 